So you've had a great career, a varied career, some might even say an unconventional career. I mean, what advice would you give to people maybe early on in their career in terms of what they should think about? So my advice is going to be quite obvious I mean, in many respects. I think it's you really must do what you love because it is grind. Um, you know, in the best of cases, you still have to, from my, in my case, travel a lot, meet lots of people, be disappointed a lot. Um, but it's really important that you get, in a, you know, energized by something that you're passionate about. And I think very often people pick jobs that they think that they should be doing. And I think in the long run, they, they will stumble at the hurdle. So that's my piece of advice. Uh, do what you love. So, Bambi, so what advice do you have for women of colour? So I don't think that it's advice targeted only for women of colour. I think in general there's a sort of tenets of advice that I would offer for anyone. It doesn't matter what your race or, or background really is. And that is really about focus, hard work and diligence, but ultimately about doing what you really love. Um, you know, one of the pieces of advice I received very early in my career is to make sure that I become the go-to person for particular issues. And I think that also really resonates with me today in a world that's very complex, I mean, it's constantly evolving and becoming much more culturally diverse and challenging. You do want to make sure that you stand out, whether it's in an organization or um, as an individual, as somebody who people can get a particular um, view or understanding or information from and, and, and is recognised for that. That's great advice. So Dambisa, we're all struggling with this work-life balance question. How do we do all the work we have to do but also make time for our other priorities? How do you go about it and what, you know, what learning is there for us? Well, I lead a very regimented um, life. It's quite strict because I travel a lot, so I have to stick to somewhat of a strict schedule. I wake up around 5 a.m. every day, uh, I work out every day, and then read the newspaper, and, and subsequently, um, that's when I get deeply engaged with my teams or with some of the board work that I have to do. So it is quite regimented, and I do try to make sure that I, make, I carve out time for family life as well. So you're a marathon runner, you've done multiple marathons. What have you learned from your marathon running? Two things um, have struck me from marathon running. First of all, you cannot do it by yourself. Um, it is a team sport, even though you are ultimately out there by yourself. The preparation is grueling. You do need a lot of support, whether it's getting information about nutrition, um, about um, physicality, making sure that you can reduce your injuries. But the other thing is that it is about the long haul. There are many challenges as you run through the process and through the track. In that regard, they're very similar um, or mirror images into businesses. I think that businesses do thrive based on teamwork and um, recognizing that it's for the long term and that we're essentially custodians of the businesses just for today. You're going to carry on running them? Absolutely. <laughs> Dan Bisha, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. Happy to be here.